Okay, we're riding along in a Springfield DPW truck, one of those big ones you see. And uh, we've got plow operator Keith Dahlquist with us. Keith is driving, he's been going all night. He was plowing last night, I mean, uh, sailing last night. And now we're cleaning up the edges of city streets. We're on uh, Roosevelt Avenue right now in Springfield. And we're riding along. So let's see, I think we'll, uh... okay. Looks like we're back. We had a bad signal there, guys. We are back. Uh, if the signal pops out again, I'm sorry. We'll uh, see what we can do. But uh, we're in the front seat. We're driving along Roosevelt Avenue. We're going to throw the camera out the window for a second. Give you a good look. out the window. <laughs> the streets are good. The plow guys have done a really good job so far. This storm was a bit of a bust, but uh, you know, they still got to clear it off. They got to push it back. And uh, let's talk to uh, Keith while we're going. Keith, what's the strategy for clearing the streets? Right now we're clearing all the streets, so later on tonight, when the snow it gets real cold, the snow doesn't freeze over, and uh, it'll be easier to maintain for for us later on. What was it like last night out standing? What was that? What was it like last night out standing? How were the conditions? The conditions were good. Um, we ended up going around sanding all the mains and second arteries couple of times before we uh, started plowing and uh, doing that we got a head start on the snowstorm I mean it, it wasn't a big snowstorm to begin with but it could have been worse than what it was okay we're uh, we're on Breckwood Boulevard now in Springfield and we're following another truck these guys like to work in teams and uh, one guy does the center of the street. Keith over here does the, the outside, getting that plow right up against the curb. Uh, it's really pretty amazing. This is a really large truck. And uh, he gets right there on the curb. It's pretty good control. I don't think I could do it. Uh, sorry for the bumpy video, guys, but uh, this is a really bouncy truck. <laughs> so we're on Breckwood Boulevard. We're not going too fast, but we're pushing the snow back. It's really important, they tell me, to get that snow as far off the you know, street to the curb as possible so traffic can flow, cars can park, and it's easy to clear for the next storm, and that's important. Uh, Fred asks how many hours uh, Keith has put in. He started at 11 o'clock last night, and they have a limit of how many hours, Keith? They have a limit of 16 hours they can be on the road. Uh, eight of that's overtime, so Keith kind of likes it when it snows. <laughs> now, we've got somebody watching from North Carolina. I bet, uh, I bet she's laughing. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. Okay, we're on Breckwood Boulevard. Let's uh, take a look down right at that plow. There it goes. It's not a lot of snow from this storm, but it doesn't matter. They still have to clear it, and they still have to get as close to that curb as possible. Whoops. And there's a car that didn't care that the plow was coming. What do that's you think what, of some of these drivers, Keith? That's what we got to watch out for. We got to watch out for each other as we're driving down the road. Yeah. And you, you know, got cars. You got cars like this that park in the street. They totally ignore the parking ban. 
Uh, Keith, we've got uh, Kristen says hi from East Hampton. I don't know. She might know you. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, our flower driver Keith has some fans out there. That's pretty good. All right, so we're coming to uh, we're coming up to Boston Road. We got somebody watching from Mississippi right now. Probably not too much snow in Mississippi. <laughs> All right, we're coming up to Boston Road. Once again, it's a little bumpy, so I, I apologize for the shaky video, guys. But uh, can't help that one. Yeah. All right, we're at Boston Road. What's uh, what's the plan now? Where are we headed, Keith? Um, we still got to finish up the route that we're on, and then. When we finish the route, we got to call and find out what route we next go to next. Okay. So we're not sanding now, right? No, no more sand. No sand. Just not right now. Okay. Tonight though, they'll Tonight be out again. Tonight they'll probably sand. Okay. The temperature is supposed to get down in the twenties. All this stuff will freeze, and we're gonna have to put some salt and sand down. Okay. All right. So we're on. Uh, where are we on? Bay now? We're on Bay Street. We're on Bay Street now. We just crossed over Boston Road. We're on Bay Street. And uh, it's just the same thing. Street after street. Pushing that snow back as close to the curb as we can get it. Uh, we just got a request for Los Angeles Street. Somebody wants to street <laughs> The old, uh, what was here? Was this mutual? No, the old Ford place. I think that was mutual Ford back in the day. I don't know. Here we go, guys. All right, we're on Bay Street in Berkshire. There's someone shoveling over there. I think we're going to go back out the window. I kind of like that shot, it was pretty cool. We're gonna hold the camera outside the window again. Here we go. not even get to side streets. There wasn't enough snow to even uh, attempt to clear side streets. It's only a few inches. And we're coming up to Roosevelt Avenue, kind of where we started. We just had a big circle. Yes, we do have to stop for lights. Roosevelt Ave and Roosevelt Terrace for a stop sign down. Okay. Chris, you copy that? We're done? I think we're done with this one. I'll make sure he gets it. Alex, are we all done with Route 15?
there. That was Keith talking. There were Alex's in the truck in front of us. They got to coordinate the routes between the two of them. Again, we're uh, we're riding shotgun with a Springfield Department of Public Works plow. We didn't get the snow that uh, they had called for, but it doesn't matter. We got to plow it anyway. We're riding with uh, plow operator Keith Dahlquist. Keith has been with the city for about two, three years now, and he loves it when it snows because the cash register in his head starts ringing. <laughs> it's a lot of overtime for these guys. I know the city treasury doesn't like it, but it's got to be done. We're on Bay Street in Springfield. We just passed Central High School. There's still plenty of snow to be cleaned up off the edges, right to the curb. Bay Street, we're coming back to City Yards, which is home. Now, are we going to be turning around, or what are we? Are we hitting the yard, or what are we doing? I believe we're turning around. He said we got a couple more streets to do. We got Blunt Park Road to do, and then uh, we'll be doing another route. on Tapley Street. Tapley Street is the home of the Springfield DPW City Arts. And they need to clean up their backyard too. up here, but it's pretty comfortable. Like I said earlier, uh, you kind of feel like you own the road up here. You got this big heavy truck and the giant plow and you feel like nothing can get in your way. some really bad trucks that the new guys get? Um, yeah, there are, but... <laughs> hey. 
So we're going to end the broadcast here. Uh, thanks for watching. You've been riding along with uh, the Springfield DPW in one of their big plow trucks. And we're heading back to the yard. And uh, we're going to say goodbye from here. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, stay safe out there, folks. Bye-bye.